now the next one overriding okay i'm generally asking uh you have maybe you have a folder structure like this mm, okay so if you place same file again here from another location what will happen you have this file one more time you are copy pasting here means what will happen it will make uh, another file with the name as a the copy file? or something copy. Copy. Yeah. it will ask for a new name a new name or else I mean any change in that override right override <laughs> first option it will ask shall i override or you want to rename it am i right yeah yes that is called okay. override so overriding means you are trying to override same by another one so that concept first one overloading one class but overriding purely depends upon the inheritance concept so these are all the keywords remember so let's try to create that program okay let's see the example where this is used let's come from the reverse way uh, when you see uh, in india rbi is a person who is head for all the bank under the rbi so many banks are there the sbi government bank and private sector like hdfc reliance capital uh, for example uh je, we have already seen uh, for example uh, deposit then withdrawal some methods already rbi is having so what i can do i can use the extends keyword and i can use it is everyone agree with me you no need to code again is everyone clear about that inheritance concept yes now there are some situation i want to execute even though i am reusing your own method but i won't have my own implementation because rbi says the rate of interest for home loan is 6.70 and of course both sbi and rbi will be same but hdfc saying i will give to my customers at 7.80 reliance capital will say i will give it at 10 percentage so here we are reusing the method of rbi using the inheritance concept but when situation like this uh, comes like i want to have my own code implementation so if a sub class child class so these guys are child this is parent this is child if a sub class child class has same method as declared in the parent class so here deposit withdrawal deposit withdrawal or uh, maybe home loan home loan method is everywhere it is declared in the parent class. it is known as method override so let me show with an example just remember this diagram alone then we will come back here method over ride so first okay now to give this rbi we have an rbi class so this class is having a method which is mm, float interest equal to 6.70 6.70 f you have a method public float get home loan now what i am doing is this up home loan 
interest equal to this one. Six out, and this is RPA class. I'll say this as parent executor return interest. So RBA is already done with this coding. A new company comes into India and uh, maybe HDFC. So when they come, they feel like, okay, almost even I am also decided to give a home loan at 6.70 interest. So I want to use your code. They will pay for it. So inheritance comes. Extends RBI. Now I can use these method. So how to use this method? We already know. We have to create the object instance HDFC OBJ equal to new HDFC constructor. Now OBJ dot to get home. The same one. Whatever the one, this one, 6.70, say 6.70F, this one. Run it, you will get home loan into 6.70 RBA uh, classes executed. But now, my, I, we feel like, okay, I, I can't go with 6.70, it will end up in a loss. So I have to increase my rate of interest. So what I will do, there comes the overriding. So same method now goes to the definition. A subclass, a child class has the same method as declared in the parent class. Copy, paste, same method as declared in the parent class. So both are same method name, same method name, same number of argument. Now, during runtime, home loan interest, this is RBI class, that is child is executed. So during runtime, even though I am using inheritance concept, I don't want to follow your own interest rate. I want to follow my own interest rate. That is called overriding. Maybe so something phi zero f. So see now. Let's execute. Even now, that value will be replaced. R B O. Okay, sorry. H T F C class. See the same method is having in the parent also but still you can override for example you are it's like you are using your parent bike or car and you're remodeling it as per your wish for your own use not exactly you're using so like that you can correlate and now see the definition if a subclass or child class this is the child class has the same method as declared in the parent class exactly same i didn't change i didn't change anything same class name, same number of argument, but the code implementation is different for me. And this is called method overriding. So when you can go for overriding is, there are three rules. Method must have same name as in the parent class. Of course, this is also get home loan. This is also get home loan. And it has same number of parameters in the parent class. One only one parameter here also one parameter, and it must have a easier relationship. Inheritance needs to be implemented, and when you follow these through three rule, then overriding is possible. So why why we have to use this? Because it is used to provide a specific implementation of a method that is already provided by the parent class. Yes, already the parent gave this method to us, but still I need to provide a specific implementation of my own stuff. 
So I am giving my own code, and this method will be the parent method will be overrided by the child method. This is called method overriding. This is the real time scenario example. Method overloading in one class, multiple methods. Method overriding the next one inheritance will come, so the parent will be replaced by the child. Everyone clear? Till now, any doubt? Can ask me. Oh, we know. Yesterday, I think you explained something where your voice is not audible. So. Okay. Can Can you hear me now? One second. To some extent. Okay. Can you tell me? Yes. Yeah. So yesterday you explained one thing that uh, we should not have the same name. Uh, like it was giving the error for like duplicate. Uh, yes. Um, duplicate names, right? So yes. So in this case, it won't create that problem because uh, in RVI you already created that specific class. Sorry, specific. Yeah, one minute, Sandeep. Is everyone able to hear him clearly? Uh, my side problem. Can you talk a little bit, Law Team? What about others? Hear a bit. Yeah. Can yeah, Sandeep? Yeah, I got your question, Sandeep. You are saying same method name. We can't use it. Of course, we can't use it. But there is a difference. No, here the number of arguments are different, and uh, here the written types or the data type is different. So that's why it is accepting. If you copy paste this and put it here, it will not accept. You will say, "See, rename the method." Right. So this will not accept. But here now, uh, now here we are dealing with inheritance. I am not doing the same thing in the same class. One is in the parent, another one is in the child. So here child only is there. It's parent. So same. Everything is same, but in different different. So during runtime, it will override. I said no. You are moving one file and just copying it to a folder. If some file is already existing, what will happen? It will ask, "Shall I override?" No. That concept only here we are implementing. Okay. Okay, sir. So that's about the overriding.